15.3c, Rationalize Monomial Roots in the Denominator. We rationalize denominators. You never leave a radical in the denominator. So to rationalize denominators, or in a sense to clear the radicals from the denominators, we are going to multiply by the extra factors that are needed in the denominator. We also multiply these same ones in the numerator. It may be helpful to simplify first. Also, as a hint, you need to always factor the numbers or find their prime factorization. Let's see this in example one. Here's example one. First, let's see if there's anything we can do to simplify. As you can see, there's only b squared in the denominator, and we need at least seven to pull any of them out. Therefore, there's nothing to simplify. So, we're going to need to multiply to get rid of the denominator. So, we need to multiply by the square root of seven. Now we need to decide what to put in. What we're going to put inside is whatever factors are missing. As you can see, we already have two b's, so we're missing five more b's to make all of them come out. So we multiply the numerator and denominator by this. This gives us five seventh root of b to the fifth over the seventh root of b to the seventh. Now, as you can see, the b to the seventh will come out as just a b, and we have five seventh root of b to the fifth in the numerator. This is our final answer, as there is no radicals in the denominator. Let's look at example two. In example two, once again, we check to see if we can reduce anything. As you can see, we cannot. Therefore, we use the quotient rule to split these apart with the cubed root of seven in the numerator and the cubed root, remember, change our numbers to their prime factorization, so three squared, a squared, and b. Now we need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the cubed root of whatever is missing. In the denominator, we see that we are missing a three, an a, and two b's. This will give us three of each of them, and we need three because this is a cubed root. We multiply the numerator by the same thing. This gives us the cubed root of 21ab squared over the cubed root of three cubed, a cubed, b cubed. These then come out of the radical as three a b and the numerator stays 21ab squared as it cannot be simplified further. This is our final answer. Remember, we must always rationalize our denominators, and when we have a monomial in the denominator, we simply multiply by the missing terms. Also, remember it may be helpful to reduce before completing it.